YouTube people, thank you so much for tuning in to Jasmine T TV. I am Jasmine T. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you don't know, I am an ESL teacher living in Warsaw, Poland. I used to live in South Korea, so if you go through the channel and see a whole bunch of videos about Korea, that is why. And if you're wondering, does she speak Korean? The answer to that is no all right shall we say my korean is horrible all right every day living in korea i use the same few phrases such as that was that was pretty much it so i said the next country i moved to i'm going to learn the language now when i made that declaration i had no idea that i'd be moving to poland and moving to poland i thought that i could learn polish solely by watching youtube videos but if you saw my first attempt at speaking polish then i think we can both agree that i need professional help okay i need professional guidance watching videos alone is not going to help me speak polish so i decided to enroll in polish classes and i've actually been taking polish for two weeks now so i thought it would be cool to start this series for quite a few reasons so here's a quick little introduction to why i wanted to start this series number one to track I my progression with polish on a weekly basis and see can i really become fluent and secondly to share what i'm learning for anyone one else who would like to learn Polish and lastly and very important to me for people who already speak Polish if you could please share any tips any advice that you have for us people that are struggling to learn struggling to speak Polish okay so those are the reasons that I wanted to start this new series and I need all the help that I can get because I am the weakest student in the class okay I think I have a hold of the basics so let's get started this is the first episode of let me get my glasses. Is that dust? <laughs> I need a duster. <laughs> uh, first episode of Polski Jastrunie. So let's talk about the alphabet. I really want to wear these glasses, but my light won't let me. So the Polish alphabet has 32 letters. So it's okay. They just went above and beyond, added extra letters. We can do this. We can learn them, okay? Now, there are some letters that look familiar to us. But let me warn you, we don't know these letters, okay? For example, when you see this, you're gonna be like, W, what? <laughs> no, this is not an ordinary W. For example, when I went into the store and I wanted to get a bottle of water, this word was written on the bottle. Then I was like, oh, water, woda, duh. But no, it is actually voda voda okay because the w here has a v sound is what we're accustomed to so w is not w here it is actually called vu did i say that right i don't know i'm sure you'll put it in the comments so this is voda and we also have vodka okay so now you know two very important words water and vodka okay i feel like these are two words that you should know on day one and there's another letter that tripped me up okay so the letter j but in polish it is called the letter j or however you say the letter in polish anyway it's called j <laughs> if you're like me and your name begins with j people are not going to call you jasmine i instead get called Yasmin. So the J here has a Y sound. If you're wondering, like, do you correct people when they call you the wrong name? No, I just roll with it because half the time I can't pronounce Polish names. So it's whatever. <laughs> all right, so now let's take a look at all of these letters. All right, let's get started. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, E, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, R, S, T, U, V, Y, Z. And the new letters <laughs> for me. <laughs> new letters for me. O, C, O, L, N, S, Z, Jet. There's also this letter that I actually need help on. <laughs> so if someone could please tell me, do I call this letter U or Oscresco? Okay, U or Escresco. 
this letter, O with a slash, and U have the same sound. They are only written differently. Okay, so that's just a little note. So if someone could please help your girl. So those are the names of the letters. If you like to hear the sounds, please check out my first attempt at speaking Polish and you can hear the sounds of the letters there. All right, so now let's move on into the Polish numbers. Now, let me tell you something. The Polish numbers, I don't understand. When learning a new language, I never had this much trouble learning the numbers one through 10. Okay, I can do it in Spanish, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. I can do it in Japanese, ich ni sanshi, gorok, nanahachi, kyuju. But let me tell you something. Polish? Let's just see. Jeden, dwa, trzy, cztery, pięć, sześć, siedem, osiem, Jevinch, Jeshinch. One more time. Jeden, dwa, trzy, cztery, pięć, sześć, siedem, osiem, dziewięć, dziesięć. Those are the numbers as I understand them. Okay, so we got the alphabet. We have numbers, and now here are a few basic words that I think are important to know. Number one, doc. This means yes. Number two, nie. This means no. Number three, dziękuję. Dziękuję. This means thank you. Or you can say janky. This means thanks. A very informal thank you. Number four, seprasham. This means excuse me, even though when I say it, no one pays me any attention. <laughs> Number five, a formal way to say hello is jin dobre. Informal way to say hello or hi would be chest. Chest. Number six, dovezinia. This means goodbye. And an informal way to say goodbye is chesh. You can informally say hi and bye using the same word. Number seven would be yestem, enter your name. Okay, so I would say yestem jasmine. Yestem jasmine, I am jasmine. Number eight, yakshemash, yakshemash. And this is how are you? Informally, how are you? Number nine, proche, proche. This is please. And number 10, which probably should have been number one, nie rozumium, nie rozumium. This means I don't understand. <laughs> there are so many things about Polish that I don't understand. So we've gone over the alphabet, we've gone over numbers one through 10, and I shared 10 basic words or phrases that I think are important to know on day one of entering Poland. So that concludes the very first episode of Polski Jestrunie. Hopefully, I get better, okay? If you are learning Polish, please share your struggles in the comment section below. If you speak Polish, please give us little tips or anything, any other phrases that we could use that maybe we're not learning in school. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at jasmint underscore TV, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.